everyone. Introduction to Information and Communications Technology At the end of this chapter, a student should be able to first define ICT, second trace the evaluation of technology, particularly computers, three identify the different parts of the computer system and cat categorize the different computer peripherals or assess why computers are considered powerful thinking machines. 5. Explain the role of technology in media and how it affects communication. And 6. Recognize the current trends in information technology. Opening activity, small group discussion from 5 groups. Each group is assigned to a specific electronic device. First group is a mobile phone, second group a laptop speaker, third group a power bank, fourth group a flash drive, fifth group a headset or earphones. Discuss among yourself the use of the device, the frequency of your usage and your experience, and using it, share your group's insights with the class. Key terms, ACM, Association of Computing Machi Machinery, ENIAC, Electronic N Numeric Integrator and Calculator, ICT, Information and Communications Technology, IDI, IC ICT, Development Index, IT, Information Technology, ITU, International Tele telecommunication Union USB Universal Serial Bus Artificial Intelligence is defined as the science of making computers or machines in general to do things that require intelligence when done by humans. Automation is the technique of making an apparatus, a process, or a system to operate auto automatically. Big data is a term of describes large and complex volumes of data analyzed for insights to help in making better decisions and more effects strategic plans. Bl blog is a combina combination of two words, web and log. It works the same way as pen and paper would. But the privacy becomes irrelevant given that a blog can be seen by anyone online. Blogger is a person who writes blogs. Communication is a process in which information is exchanged between individuals through verbal and nonverbal means. Communication device is a hardware component that aids a computer to send, transmit, and receive data instructions and information to and from one or more computers in fact this is a flat round portable mental disk computer is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory that can accept data manipulate the data according to specified rules produce results and store the results for future use. The desktop computer is designed to be placed on a desk and made up of a few different parts, including the computer, case, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Exploitation refers to an activity of making use of and benefiting from digital resources, such as changing grades by hacking and system. Hard disk is a data storage hardware device that offers a greater storage capacity than a floppy disk, zip disk, or USB flash drive. Information refers to the knowledge obtained from reading, investigation, study, or research. Information age is a period is human history characterized 
by the shift from trad traditional industry to an information technology based economic growth by industrialization, information and communications technology, ICT, refers to technology that supports activities involving information such as gathering, processing, storing, and presenting data. Increasingly, these activities also involve collaboration and communication. Input device is any hardware component that allows one to enter data or instruction into a computer. Intelligent system is a far more complex machine capable of learning. Laptop computer is a battery-powered computer that is more portable than a desktop, allowing one use it almost anywhere. Libel refers to the publication of a false statement that damage one's business or personal reputations. Mainframe is a powerful multiple user computer capable of supporting hundreds or thousands of users simultaneously. Media refers to communication devices. Communication devices are used in interaction and or communication. Mini computer is a multi-user computer capable of supporting from to ten hundreds of users simultaneously. Modem is a device or program that enables a computer to transmit data over, for example, telephone or cable lines. Motherboard is a circuitly circuitry of the system unit which is commonly a part of associated with or linked to a circuit board. Output device is any hardware components that transmit information to one or more people. Personal computer is a small single user computer based on a microprocessor. Plagiarism is a is the act of using someone's intellectual proper ideas and written works and claiming is it as one's own. Port is an endpoint of communication in an operating system introduction to information and communications. Technology ICT. Smartphone is a mobile phone that performs many of the functions of a computer typically having a touch screen, interface, internet access, and an operating system capable of running downloaded applications. Software piracy refers to an, an app of installing a, a copy of software into one's computer without permission and or producing a copy is regarding the copyright storage, hold data, instructions, and information for future use. Supercomputer is an extremely fast computer that can perform millions of instructions per second. System unit is a box line case that contains the electronic components of the computer which are used to process data. Technology has made communication much easier and faster through telephones, computer, and mobile devices. Trend refers to a particular style in fashion, devices, or entertainment. Could there, there could always be a new trend coming along to replace the old. USB flash drive is a portable storage device that has more storage capacity than a floppy disk or zip disk. It is small and lightweight, enough to be transported on a kit chain or put in one's pocket. User is anyone who communicates and interacts with a computer or makes use of the information and generates Workstation is similar to a personal computer but has a more powerful microprocessor and a higher quality monitor. 
Information and Communication Technology An Overview The concept of technology has evolved throughout the years. The terms technology presently includes advancement in communication is how information is handled, thus enabling governments, organizations, industries, and ordinary individuals to improve on their decision-making business processes and every living. The term information and communication technology or ICT was defined in a study conducted by ZUPU 2012 as related to technologies that facilitate the transfer of information and various types of electronically medi mediated communication. However, this definition was considered too broad that ZUPU created an ICT hierarchy to identify key aspects such as ICT in education, business, and the economic sector. The classification, however, contain some degree of commonal commonality. By Mr. and Leary, 1995. The belongingness hypothesis states that people have a basic psychological need to feel closely connected to others and that caring affectionate bonds from close relationships are a major part of human behavior. This need can be fulfilled through the different modes of communication, be it face-to-face, -face, online, through voice or simply through a text message manifested in the member of people with mobile devices such as smartphones, tablets, and the lat latest technologies such as wearable devices. This is the figure by Hirara Chi by Col Rain Zuko. The International Telecommunication Union, IDU, con conduct an, an annual study on the pre prevalence of ICT around the world. The report called the ICT Development Index. IDI include quantitative indicators regarding ICT, access, usage, and skills in different regions and countries. Figure 1.2 denotes the upward trend of people needing ICTs with the estimate that mobile description now outnumber world population. It versus ICT. I when do we use the term ICT and how does it different differ from IT? Often used in a more general sense and is described using computers and other digital technologies to assist individual or inst institutions in handling or using information. ICT is technology that supports activities involved information such as gathering, processing, storing, and presenting data. Increasingly, these activities also involve collaboration and communication. IT, or information technology, pertains to the industry that involves computers, software, networking, and other IT infrastructure to help relay or manage information important in modern day, living as seen primarily in large companies or corporations simply put. IT is a subset of ICT as the technology used in the field of IT aids in the use of ICT 1 to 2016. Breakdown of ICT. 
information refers to the knowledge obtained from reading investigation study or research some of the tools that transmit information are the telephone television and radio not to be confused with data information is regarded as process data computers normally process data that are later understood as information information is needed to make decision and to foresee the future for example scientists can detect the information a tsunami using the latest technology and warn the public to avoid disaster in the affect areas process information is called knowledge knowledge helps fulfill daily tasks knowledge is also used to analyze the stock market and check which company is worth investing in for example knowledge is used to predict tomorrow's weather and decide in there is a need to bring an umbrella communication communication is an act of transmitting message it is a process in which information is exchanged between individuals through verbal and nonverbal means with technology communication is faster more convenient and more efficient when face-to-face -face meeting is not possible long distance communication or virtual communication is not common and easy with use of smartphones and computers with internet access technology technology has involved in ways that improve people's daily activities as mentioned above technology has made communication much easier and faster through telephones fax machines mobile devices and the internet it ha has also made broadcasting and information such as news or weather reports more effective radio television satellites and the world wide web are powerful tools that can be used by individuals to gather needed information to aid them in their office school or housework or in simple day to day activities evaluation of technology the evaluation of technology has always depended on one thing the human rationale human tend to think of ways on how to discharge tasks or workload or do daily activities easily the concept of technology always starts with the basic tool in order to build a house one cannot simply use his or her own two hands to cut wood and attach the wooden pieces together a hacksaw hammer and set of nails are needed to accomplish the task the concept of a wheel has also made transportation much easier and enable, enable people to move several objects from one place to another with ease by combining a set of tools people have come up with machines that can do the task faster and more efficiently a single wheel transportation tools has inspired the creation of a machine capable of transporting not just objects but also passengers thus vehicle have nowadays becomes more of the necessity rather than a form of luxury computer a type of mecha machine that is considered a necessity an electronic device operating under the control of instruction stored in its own memory that can accept data manipulated and data according to specified rules produce results and store the results for future use most machines including computers have involved through the process of automation defined as the technique of making an apparatus a process or a system operate automatically automa automation includes of 
broad range of technologies normally connecting computer system to other system such as sensors wireless application expert system and system integration among others the integration is made in such a way that this interconnected system are capable of self-acting or self-regulation. Automated system can reduce the instances of errors which are usually caused by human-based decision and comprehension. Production companies often use automated system as part of their business process as automation increases productivity and lessens the time to market. History of computer. Computers have a major role in the last three decades. This is due to the fact that people have become increasingly dependent of computers to do their daily tasks in school, at works, or in their routines. What started off as simply for research purposes, computers are now designed to be more compact, more mobile, and more integrated in people's daily activities. Computers have been bought based on type of components used in the design of present scientists and research researchers have identified five generation based on design suitability and reliability these generations of computers are briefly defined below pepito 2002 the first electronic computer was developed in 1946 designed by j presper Eckert and John W. Mosley from the University of Pennsylvania, financed by the United States Army. The Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator ENIAC is considered to be first generation computer ENI. AC was a modular computer composed of several panels capable of performing different functions. However, it could store only limited or small amount of information and only do arithmetic operations such as addition and subtraction of up to 10 digits. The computer was wrongly 167 square meters in size and weight. Second generation computer 1959-1965. In this second generation, the transistor was used as the interior sections of the computer's transistors were much smaller, faster, and more dependable than the vacuum tubes of the first generator computer they generated less heat and consumed less electricity but were still very costly third generation computer in 1965 jack kilby invented the integrated circuit or ic that was used instead of transistors as the interior sections to build the computer a single IEC has many transistors, resistors, and capacitors that even the full circuit board of a transistor can be replaced entirely with one chip. This chip made the computers smaller, unfailing and effective in this third generation remote processing time sharing and multi-programming operating system were used fourth general generation computer from 1971 to 1980 very large scale integrated BLSI circuits were used to build computers 
These circuits have about 5,000 transistors and other circuit elements with their connected circuits on the single chip. Now, as the micro microprocessor, this support generation computers such as personal computer become more powerful than reliable and inexpensive. The other application of this microprocessor technology can be used and applied for packet calculators, television sets, automat automotive devices, and audio and video appliances. Fifth generation generation computer the BLSI technology has involved into what is called ultra large scale integration ULSI technology with the manufacture of microprocessor chips having 10 million electronics components this generation involves computer intelligence which is associated with a artificial intelligence or AI na natural language and expert system that interpret the means and practice of producing computers that think like human beings components of a computer a computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data it has the ability to store relative and process data it contains both hardware components and software application the hardware pertains to the computer physical devices it is any part of the computer that can be seen and touched a uh, computer's hardware consists and in the related electronic devices that are used to manipulate the computer's operation input devices and output devices. Input devices enter or send data and interaction from the user or from another computer system on the internet while output devices send back the administered data to the user or to another computer system. The following are some of the most common and important input devices of a computer keyboard is the most common input device that accepts letter numbers and commands from the user. Mouse, a mouse is a, used by moving it on a flat surface, pressing its two buttons left and right, and scrolling the wheel that is located between the buttons of touchpad, also called the trackpad in is a touch sensitive pad that lets the user move the pointer by touching and dragging his or her finger on the pad. Touch pad are commonly built in on laptop computers. Microphone allows a user to speak into the computer to input data and instruction while there are Available standalone microphones for computers most of the times user by a headset, a combination of microphone and earphones for the sake of practicality. Digital camera allows one to take pictures then transfer the photograph image to the computer or printer instead of storing the image on a traditional film scanner converts printed materials such as text and pictures into a form a computer can use there are different types of scanner available the most common is the flatbed scanner scanners look like mi miniature printers with a flip up cover protecting the glass platen. They are often built into multi-function printers. MFPS, another type becoming common 
nowadays is the hand held or portable scanner portable scanners can be small enough to fit inside one's pocket pen scanner are just a bit bigger than found fountain pens and can scan the text or document line by line they do not give high resolution scans and are more expensive than flat bed scanners pc video camera <laughs> it's a digital video camera that enables user to create a movie or take still photographs electronically with a PC video camera attached to the computer. User can see each other as they can communicate via the computer. Output devices An output device is any hardware component that transmit information to one or more people. The three common views output devices are as follows. Printer produce text and graphics on a physically physical medium such as paper. Two types of printer are the impact printer and the non-impact printer. An impact printer makes contact with the paper by pressing an ink ribbon against the paper using a hammer or pins. A non-impact printer does not use a tricking device to produce characters on the paper and because it does not hammer against the paper, the printer produces less noise. Monitor, display text, graphics, and videos on a screen. Many monitors look similar to a television. The three types of monitor available in the market are the following A. Cathode Ray Tube CRT B. Liquid Crystal Display or LCD C. Light Emitting Dude or LED Cathode Ray Tube or CRT A vacuum tube containing an electron gun of one end and a fluorescent screen to another and from this electron gun a process called dermionic emission generates a strong beam of electrons these electrons travel through a narrow path within the tube with high speed using various electromagnetic devices and finally strike the four points present on the fluorescent, fluorescent screen thus creating an image monitors employed the CRT technology used most commonly in the manufacturing of television screen a stream to intense high energy electrons is used to form image on a fluorescent screen liquid crystal display LCD is a flat panel display that consists uh, of a layer of color or monochrome pixel arranged schematically between a couple of transparent electrodes and two Polarizing filters optical effects is achieved by polarizing the light in varied amounts and making it pass through the liquid crystal layer. Light emitting dirt or LED is a flat panel display that uses light emitting diodes for backlighting. The display is of LCD only but the backlighting is done by LEDs or LED monitors are said to use much lesser power than CRT and LCD thus they are also considered environment friendly speaker allows one hear music voice and other sounds 
the signal used to produce the sound that comes from the computer speaker is created by the computer's sound card. The system unit is the enclosure composed of the main elements of a computer that are used to administer data. This can be referred to a computer case or tower the circuitry of the system unit containing the primary components of a computer with connectors into which other circuit boards can be positioned is recognized as motherboard. A computer can be utilized with only processing memory input and output devices to make it very valuable. However, a computer also needs a place to hold program files and all related files when they are not in use to go of using a uh, storage is to keep data permanently there are many types of storage devices which include the flash this drive a small portable storage device often referred to as pen drive dump drives or jump drives it has a memory capacity of 2 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, 120 gigabyte, or ITB, and now up to 2 TB. Another type of storage is hard disk drive. Most personal computers have at least one non removable hard disk that is regarded as a non volatile memory which permanently stores and retrieves data. Another storage device is the compact disk, a flat, round, and portable men mental disk. One type of compact disk is a CD-ROM which can be accessed using most CD and DVD drives. Another type of compact disk is a DVD ROM which has enough storage capacity to store a full length movie. Computers are powerful for a variety of, of reasons. They work with remar remarkable speed, reliability, consistency, and accuracy. Computers can store large amount of data and information. Also, computers allow users to communicate with other user or computers a user is anyone who communicates and interact with a computer or makes use of the information and generates speed the system unit operation get done through electronic circuits when data instructions and information drift along these circuits they travel and incredibly fast speed most computer bring out billions of operations in a single second the world fastest computer can perform trillions of operations in one second reliability and consistency the electronic compute components in modern computers are dependable because they have allowed you failure rate and high reliability of components enables the computer to produce consistent results. Accuracy computers process large amounts of data and generate error-free results provided and data is inputted correctly and the instruction work properly. If data is inaccurate, the resulting output is also incorrect. A uh, computing phrase known as garbage in garbage out points of that the accuracy of a computer's output depends on the accuracy in the input communication it happens between two or more people sending and receiving message from one another the one sending the message is referred to a sender while the one receiving the information is known as the receiver the message being transmitted can contain facts through perceptions, judgments, beliefs, attitudes, commands, and even reactions. For example, two computers are connected by a communications device such as a modem 
can share stored data instruction and information these two computers can be located in the same room or thousands of miles away from each other in two different countries classifying computers computers can be classified based on size and computing power however as technology advances this classification tend to overlap as modern computers have become smaller yet more powerful personal computer is a small single user computer based on a micro microprocessor is in addition addition to the microprocessor a personal computer has a keyboard for entering data a monitor for displaying information and a storage device for saying data workstation is a powerful single user computer a workstation is like a personal computer but it is has a more powerful microprocessor and high and a higher quality monitor mini computer is a multi-user computer capable of supporting from 10 to hundreds of users simultaneously mainframe is a powerful multi-user computer capable of supporting hundreds of thousands of users simultaneously supercomputer is an extremely fast computer that can perform millions of in instruction per second below is a picture of NASAS supercomputer that has two four two thousand 36 CPU cores and a total memory of 935 TB. The compare of computer with the Intel Core i3 processor has only two cores for running its program and application. Core 5 in i7 models usually have only four cores, or i7 extreme process processors can have six to eight cores. However, most applications cannot use all the cores to full advantage thus they do not operate at full capacity. Imagine having more than 2,445 cores. How many applications and programs can your computer run in a second? Specialized computers are now classified according to specific uses. The different types of computers are the follows desktop computers are computers designed to be placed on a desk and are normally made up of a few different parts, including the computer case, central processing unit, CPU, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Laptop computers are battery-powered computer devices whose portability makes them possible to use almost anytime, anywhere. Tablet computers are handheld computers with touch sensitive screen for typing and navigation. Smartphones are handheld hand telephones which can do things that computers can do, including browsing and richer, uh, searching the internet and even playing console games. Wearables include fitness trackers and smart patches that can be worn throughout the day. Smart TVs are the latest television sets that include application present in computers. For example, videos can be streamed from the internet directly onto the TV and TV can also be used a computer monitor and gaming monitor. Digital age, information age, and computer age use interchangeable. Capture the ubiquitous nature of computing and the prolific use the technology in almost all aspects of human activity, such that 
digital interaction is a defining characteristic of human activity. It is a period in human history characterized by the shift from traditional industry to information technology-based economy brought by industrialization during the Industrial Revolution. The definition of of what digital means or what information means continues to change over time as new technologies, user devices, and methods of interaction with other people and devices enter the domain of research development and market launch. This period is also characterized by the digita digital industry creating a knowledge-based society surrounded by a high-tech global economy that exert its influence on how the manufacturing process and the service sector work is an efficient and convenient way. Blog keeping a diary or a journal is a traditional method of recording. One's thoughts or expressing one's em emotions through writing a blog is a combination of two words, web and log, it works the same way as pen and paper would, but privacy becomes irrelevant given that a blog post can be seen by anyone online. A person who writes blogs is called a blogger. The medium tools or tools used as sending a message from the source to the dis However, with the latest technologies, that so-called social media has become an avenue for information dissemination, even taking over news sites in bringing the latest or up-to-date content. One such example is Twitter as the media instead of just being an avenue for delivering message messages is becoming increasingly social with the audience themselves creating their own content and interacting with one another. The messenger is one who delivers the message. This is broadcasters, for example, being the messenger or news are called media. In the digital space, however, does the media also refer to social networks, users who create contents themselves but are not professional journalists, hence, although the media can be the message, the medium, and the messenger in the digital age, the demo demarcation lines between them are somewhat blurry. Evaluation of media the media has transformed itself based on two things. First is how information is presented. Second is how connecting is established. Woodcut printing on cloth or on paper was used in the early 15th century. It was in 19, uh, 1436 when Johannes Gutenberg started working on a printing process which used relief printing and a molding system now the modern printing press press delivers message in print such as newspaper textbook and magazines in the 1980s the telegraph was developed followed by the to the telephone which made the two-way communication possible message sending and receiving can now be done but both ways simultaneously. At the beginning of the 1990s, broadcasting and recorded media were introduced, radio and television were used to send sounds and video up to home, and offices through electromagnetic spectrum or radio waves or to lower frequency band or medium higher frequency band content can be received depending on the frequency used later on a combination of both audio and video information 
made the audience viewing and experience more exciting films and movies become popular as they gather to larger audiences. As communication devices also involved and become pervasive, so did information and distribution of auto taking using a smartphone can immediately be uploaded and shared on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram community websites such as OLX.ph, a Philippine counterpart of eBay.com that its user buy, uh, buy and sell in items online this eliminates the need for going to physical in stores in line with the development though this regardless of their professions can now interact with the another and are no longer disconnected according to Claudine Buman author from the telegraph one good example, it has happened on January 15, 2009, when dozens of New York Yorkers sent tweets about the a plane crash in the city, knew about the U.S. Airways flight 1549, which was forced to land in the Hudson River in Manhattan, USA, immediately spread all over the country all the planes engine shut down when it struck a block of just minutes after takeoff from new york's laguardia airport overview of current trends the trends refers to something hip and popular of a certain points in times it can be a particular style in fashion devices or entertainment, a new trend may always come along to replace to the whole one. Technology trends tends to exchange the gas by following more gas. Low technology is bound to upgrade itself every two years. In 1965, Gordon Murray predicted the, that the computing power would dramatically increase over time. But as it increases, cost is expected to proportionally go down nowadays. The two-year prediction has even decreased with release happening less than two years if not yearly aside from cost size. A hardware have also decreased in making devices such as smartphones more useful and dependable. A few years ago, people would have a cellular phone, a digital camera, a portable music player, and a laptop with them. They could use their phones to text and make calls, the digital camera to take pictures, and the music player to listen to the music while doing their work on their laptop. Now, smartphones are capable of doing the aforementioned activities and a lot more through applications or apps made available online the terms smartphone was coined as the accessory or mobile phones has now become smarter in it can run apps which help people perform their day-to-day -day activities apps turns mobile devices into miniature pcs capable of browsing the web, taking down notes and playing games among others by default smartphones come installed with basic apps such as making calls, sending text messages, playing music, and managing schedules. As of 2017, Google Play has approximately 2.8 million apps available for Android users, whereas Apple's app store in estimated 12 to 2 million these apps are not just limited to smartphones they can be used in other mobile devices including tape tablets and another recently trend wearable devices 
IoT and Smart Home Technology, the Bishop Tenty has involved you the convergence of multiple technologies, including pervasive wireless communication data and analytic machine learning, and use the hardware technology such as, as sensors, microprocessors, and micro controllers controlling home appliances through a mobile phone such as switching the light on and off, setting the timer of the washing machine, and controlling the television to record shows that might be missed due to traffic is now possible. Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality In 2016, the release of games such as Pokemon Go and anticipated VR headset Oculus Rift served as a turning point for AR and VR technology. Machines learning also called artificial intelligence having machines designed for you seems to be a daunting task and would probably make you think of robots and taking computers similarly to Iron Man's Jarvi Harvest. However, with the recent release of Apple's iPhone X, it was not just the design that improved the iOS intelligent personal assistant. Siri has also been upgraded with enhanced learning, making the use of iPhone more efficient. It latest features include the following face ID. The owner face is the new password. It is a more secure way to unlock the phone and keep the data safe. All Bionic. All Bionic is claimed to be the most powerful and smartest chip ever is a smartphone with a neutral engine capable of up to 6 billion, 600 billion operations per second a neural engine a type of artificial intelligence enables computers to learn from observation wireless train charging a capable is not only to charge the devices in this latest operating system can one can scan documents in the notes app edit live photos and the U.S. even pay friends in message Siri can also translate languages. Augmented reality AR is not just designed for fun. It is also meant for productivity and efficiency is also one to navigate without looking at a map, visualize, visualize industrial equipment and many others. Automation through advanced technology it is now possible to automate previously human exclusive tasks. This is very much evident through wearable devices such as step counters and heart rate monitors used by health conscious individuals. Information collected is automatically saved and stored in mobile devices for analysis later on. Big data. Big data is a term that describes large and complex volumes of data, but it is not how much data an organization has. It is what they do with it's it that matters. Big data can be analyzed for insights which can help management make better decisions and come up with more effective strategic plans. Waze is an example of an app which uses big data. The app helps users determine traffic direction and route estimations and notifies users with accident alerts and road hazard among others. Physical digital integration. Majority of organizations nowadays are moving towards system automat automation, 
As such, they identify their physical elements and create digital data for more efficient operation and back up the concept of having a paperless company in which transaction reports and services are done using automated system is one such example. Not only is it deemed reliable but also environment friendly. Seven is everything on demand to the prevalence of network con connectivity. It is possible to have information on demand music, movies, and even the like grab are made available through the apps in a smartphone. Impact of ICT on individuals, organization, and society. ICT brings both positive and negative effects to individuals, organization, and society. It improves education access to information and security. However, it limits personal interaction and physical activity and process problems in employment and security. Positive effects improve access to education. There are news, new ways to learning such as the use of learning management system LMS which implements educational enhancement such as distance learning and online tutorial virtual reality and interactive multimedia. Access of information community the enter Internet is widely used in communication. New tools have been promoted, such as BOIP phone, instant messaging, man, M chat, B messenger, Google Hangouts, Yahoo Messenger, etc., video chat, Skype, B video chat, etc., and email. In addition, ICT has been maximized by most individuals nowadays for leisure and entertainment such as watching movies playing games or even reading news and articles and for creating new relationships with people around the world security with the advancemental that ICT brings individuals and organizations can solve any security problems, example of security measures of all applications are one is use the encryption methods to keep and protect data from any malicious software, two, the use of passwords for personal information protections, and three, the development of physical security system such as biometrics in a form of fingerprint facial recognition iris or eye recognition and voice recognition negative effects reduce the personal interaction and physical activity because of virtual communication ironically people are less likely to talk to or meet each other in person and because of the comfort of working from home and the entertainment that the internet offer streaming movies playing online games etc basically activity is used is reduced leading to health issues such as obesity and heart disease job loss increasing the unemployment this can be considered as one of the worst effects of ICT multiple workers being replaced and reduced by a smaller number of employees capable or doing the same bulk volume of tasks, shipping or freight services in which a certain amount is added to the operating cost for the physical process of transporting commodities or goods, automation through robots or machines replacing people in the assembly line. ICT brings not only improvement but also the lead to security data or files must always be kept secure and safe. The internet connection must always be safeguarded 
from different attacks such as data modification, identi identity, IP address, spoofing, password-based attacks, denial of service, etc. Computers should also be protected from various sets, various from forms of viruses and malware which are released almost every day. Ethical issues in ICT while some people apply ethical principles to the use of ICT others simply do not hence the proliferation of cyber malpractices. The following are some of the ethical issues is ICT plagiarism is an act of the theft in which a person co copies another person's ideas, words, or writing, etc., a past them of as his or her own. Those who committed such action, they lead to serious legal and ethical defilements. Exploitation, it is an action in which one deals with personal dishonestly, unethically, and dishonorably in order to take advantage of the latter's works and or resources this leads to unlawful actions. Libel it can either be an insult, slur or slander, either written or spoken or even through actions it may lead to libel if the accusation is not true and without any is of evidence of where piracy it refers to an act of installing or copying a software into the computer in the absence of an end user licensing agreement or EULA and or producing a copy disregarding the copyrights. The evaluation of technology people are now living in a period in which our economy is based on information computerization this industry is involves computer software and networking among others is called information technology or IT is a subset of information and communication technology or ICT is which pertains to use and technology that support activities involving the not only information such as gathering, storing, and presenting data, but also collaboration and communication. The computer being the main tool is equipment in IT has involved in many ways from the first generation computer to the present fifth generation computer. The power of the computer coupled with the introduction of the internet cannot be underestimated with its speed, reliability, and consistency, accuracy, and ability to handle communication. Communication and information creation and distribution have developed among the major trends in is to code internet of things. IOT, the expansion and application of networks and internet to everyday objects. ICT, however, has both positive and negative impacts on individuals, organization, and society.